Hello and welcome. Today, we will be learning how to subtract two-digit numbers with regrouping. Regrouping might seem hard, but don't worry. I'm here to make it easy and fun. Get ready for an exciting subtraction journey. Let's go. First, let's talk about the word regrouping. Regrouping in subtraction means that you don't have enough to subtract in a place value spot. So you have to go over to the next place value spot and regroup. This means you'll go to the tens place, take a 10 and move it into the ones place. When the 10 is moved into the ones place, it will be broken down into 10 ones. Once you move the 10 into the ones place, you'll have enough to subtract. Now that you know what regrouping is, let's get started on subtracting two digit numbers with regrouping. It might seem a little confusing, but remember, I'm here to make it easy for you. Let me show you an example of regrouping. Here's my equation, 82 minus 36. I'll draw two place value charts. One is for my numbers. So I'll place my numbers from my equation into this place value chart. The other place value chart is for my model. I'll be using place value blocks to model my number to help me subtract. When I subtract, I always model my total. My total is 82, so I'll model the number 82 with place value blocks. I need to subtract 36, so I won't model this number. I'll subtract it from my total. It's very important to always start in the ones place when subtracting. If you don't, then you could ruin your math because you might need to regroup and you won't know that unless you start in the ones place. So I'll start by looking at the ones place. In the ones place, I have two ones and I need to take away six ones, but I don't have enough to subtract. So I'll regroup. I'll go to the next place value spot, which is the tens place. I'll take a 10 and move it into the ones place. Now I have one less 10. When I put the 10 into the ones place, it breaks down into 10 ones. Now this is better. I have enough to subtract. I'll subtract six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six ones left. I'll put a six in the ones place. Now I can subtract the tens place. I don't have eight tens anymore because I moved a 10 into the ones place. I have seven tens now and I need to take away three. One, two, three. I have four tens left. I'll put a four in the tens place. 82 minus 36 equals 46. Now, let's try one together. Our equation is 65 minus 27. I'll create our two place value charts and place our numbers from the equation into one of the place value charts. Next, we need to model using place value blocks to help us subtract. When you subtract, which number do you model? The total, that's right. What's our total? 65, you got it. Let's model 65 in our other place value chart. Now, can you tell me which place value spot we start subtracting in? The ones place. We wouldn't want to ruin our math problem. So let's start in the ones place. How many ones do we have? How many do we need to subtract? Do we have enough to subtract seven? No, we don't. So what will we do? We will regroup. Let's get a 10 and move it into the ones place. Now we have five tens. Remember that once we move a 10 to the ones place, it breaks apart into 10 ones. How many ones do we have in the ones place now? That's right, 15. We will also show this with our numbers by crossing out the five and putting a 15 on top. We will cross out the six and put a five 
since we moved a 10 out of the tens place. Now we're ready to subtract. Let's subtract the ones place. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many ones are left? Great, eight. Let's put an eight in the ones place. Now we can subtract the tens. We have five tens. How many do we need to take away? Two. Let's count together as we take away two. One, two. How many tens do we have now? Three. Let's place a three in the tens place. What is 65 minus 27? 38. Awesome job. Before you go, let's review what we learned today. When you're subtracting, always start in the ones place. This is very important because you might need to regroup and you wouldn't know that unless you started in the ones place. You only regroup if you don't have enough to subtract. If you do have enough to subtract, then there's no need to regroup. You just keep subtracting. Make sure you show that you regrouped in your model and your numbers. When you show that you've regrouped in your numbers, make sure to cross out your number and write the new amount on top in the tens place and the ones place. If you don't, you might forget you regrouped and then that'll mess up your math and you wouldn't want to ruin all your hard work. You did awesome. I hope you had fun learning how to subtract two digit numbers with regrouping today. Keep practicing those subtraction skills and you'll become a subtraction superstar. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more educational videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.